question is, what are the two key things that I should focus or what are the key things that I should focus on this year when I'm building my business and building my brand? Uh, this is very much focused on not just people who have their home-based businesses um, and this is not just for network marketers or home-based business owners or affiliate marketers this really is for anybody in business so I, de I decided that there's two key things that I want to focus on this year um, and I'm gonna um, quote a little bit from Jeff Roberti multi-million dollar earner I can't tell you how many I think I earned like 80 million dollars in the career as a network marketer at the GoPro event December 1st 2nd and 3rd in Vegas um, he was sharing with us um, his outlook on life and why he has become such a powerful leader made so much money being so successful and being able to help so many people um, so my first thing is that I want to let you know is Will you be the leader that others will follow? Will you follow yourself? And with that, I'm going to go into subcategories. Are you consistent? Do you show up regularly? Do you work hard? Do you lead by example? Are you uh, somebody that's always perked up and happy? And look at the positive. Do you speak positive affirmations over yourself and your team? Um, you know, because why do I say that? Because success breeds success. And as Tony, or uh, Tony Robbins says, um, success leaves clues, you know, and it sure does. You know, uh, you look at those that are successful and you emulate them, you'll be successful as well. There's no reason why not. Um, and, you know, one thing that Jeff said, a lot of what we do is mindset. You know, even when it's working out and wanting to lose weight, when it is... Um, uh, being able to be in a sales position or a, a, a position where you promote. Guys are a little bit shy today. So, um, you know, what all of that is to do with mindset. But a lot of it is when you want to walk on that stage and show off that you, you're the bodybuilder or whatever, that you look good, there's been a tremendous lot of work going in behind the scenes. So when you, that person at the network marketing company that get called up on stage, or you're the person in your organization that get rewarded, what did you do? You busted your butt. But you also worked on your mindset and you had your daily routine where you worked on your affirmations, your visualizations, um, where you said positive things, where you promoted other people, where what you did was to make other people's lives better, matching your product or opportunity or service to their needs. So with that is, would you follow you? Are you that leader for your team? And, are you be and you might say, well, I don't have a team yet. Well, if you are starting to act as if, you will have a team. Act as if you have a team. Work like you have a team. Be the leader that you want to be, that you want to look up to. And then I tell you what, guys, um, that is what will make you successful and what will make you grow tremendously this year. So be the person that you want to follow as well. Number two. Um, And this is very important to remember. Sometimes in your work or in your network marketing team or in an organization that you are building, especially where the people are volunteer, do remember that it is their business. It is not your business. And you are there to guide them, to help them, and to steer them in the right path, in the right direction by leading by example and to encourage them. Encourage them where they are. Meet them where they are. And some people want to make only two or three hundred dollars a month, some a thousand, and some want to make more money. You know, meet them where they are and give them credit for what they have accomplished, and and and, and give them a shout out. You know, because for that person, that victory of making five hundred a month is as good as for the guy who makes fifty thousand a month. 
um, because they are in different playing fields and they're not just in different playing fields, but they have different things that motivate them and different goals. So with that said, my key point to that is, is when you are working with that, is that it's easier to give blood than to raise the dead. So forget about trying to get people that's not working, that's not doing things, you know, to trying to raise them up. Don't try to raise them up. Find new people. The best thing is to motivate others is to bring new people in. Now, when you're in a job or in a company where you have to replace an employee with another one, it is going to be sad because you'd have to get rid of some people, but it definitely will motivate the other people in the organization. Give blood. It's much easier to give blood than, than, than to raise the dead and to, to, to breed life. You know, um, I've always heard the saying, you know, are you going to hang around with the turkeys? Because if you hang around with the turkeys, you're going to be full of turkey shit. Or if you try to make chickens fly, you will end up with chicken shit all over you, you know? But if you hang out with eagles and you surround yourself with five people, whether it's your wife, your mentors, your friends, and to me, a lot of times, Ray Higdon, Tony Robbins, Jessica Higdon, my mentors that I, that, I, that I read and listen to, they were the people that I hang out with. So I saw her as an eagle like them, with my friend Chris, with my other friend Joy. You know, those are the people that lift me up and that I can lift up at the same time. So remember that it's always easier to give blood than to raise the dead, to rather soar as an eagle and pull others up to you than trying to push people up from the bottom and to make chickens fly. And don't hang around with the turkeys. This year is the year where you are going to move forward and cut relationships with people that bring you down and that don't promote you and help you to move forward. Oh, and I wanted to share that with one more thing. Uh, lighten up and your sales will brighten up or your product, whatever. Eventually, everything we do is sales. Even if you um, are a doctor and you're serving patients, the better you do, the better you serve them, the more money you will make or the more rewards you will get. And even the rewards might not be monetarily, but the rewards would for sure be um, in how you feel about what you've done. Sure. Um, the two things you should be doing this year, number one, be the leader that you will follow. Be who you would want to follow by being consistent, by leading by example, by being positive, by speaking positive things, meeting people where they are and congratulating them on where they are and encouraging them where they are. Don't try to make the $500 earner be the $5 million earner. They might not might want to get there, but they might not be willing to put the work in or that's not their goal. Second thing is, um, rather give blood than raise the dead. Hang out with eagles, soar with the eagles. Don't spend your time with the turkeys and with the chickens and try to make them fly. Uh, remember, that some people are happy where they're at and this is the one this is very important to know that when you have those people that do want to be chickens and turkeys don't look down on them um, and yes i did say that in a condescending way earlier because i know that you can be much bigger if you're listening to this to, to the, this video but if there's other people that only want to make a little bit um, let them be where they want to be and, and congratulate them and motivate them and encourage them and tell them they do a good job even if they just use your products or your service and then lighten up um, in, hey, by the way, say less to more people and your business will grow. I'm going to give you today my free checklist that if you want to also have extra income and start a business, especially a business from home, what are the seven steps and questions you should ask and take to look at when you are considering a home-based business or if you're already in one, one that you can judge that business by and see if it does really fit where you should be in life. So this is Johan signing off. Go grab that. That's on my front page of my website, rugbydude.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Aloha and God bless.